This is Functional Horsemanship, and we're continuing on with our series of horseman knots. Today's knot is called the clove hitch. The clove hitch. It's used for uh, tying a piece of rope uh, to like a, a trailer in this case, or to a pole, uh, or to something that you re where you don't want a slip knot. And maybe if I was had this trailer out out in the out in the range, and I wanted to tie any of the rope to here, then run a pole out, then uh, make a high line to picket my horses on. This is maybe a knot I would use. This knot, I'm simply taking the end of the rope, sticking it around my object, pulling it out like this, taking it back in, running it through, so the ropes are together, and it looks like this. This is a clove hitch, and it's a self-tightening knot as I pull on it. It's going to put tension on the other end of the rope and keep it from pulling loose. Again, this is the clove hitch. If I wanted to, I could take this running end, put this through, and now I've got a clove hitch and a quick release. I'll tie that same knot here using a small diameter rope. I'm just going around my pole, coming out on top going back around again and coming through the loops I've created. So it should look like this. And if I wanted to, if it didn't want it to slip at all, I could put a half hitch in there like that. Or I could run it back through. And make a quick release. And if I was putting, uh, maybe putting the ground stake in, and pound it in the ground to create a picket line for my horses or to set up a tent tarp or something like that. A quick way to do a, a half hitch on a post like this is to simply take your rope, make a loop, make another loop, take that second loop, put it on the bottom of the first one, slip it down underneath your pole and tighten it up. You see how that looks? Nice and clean, the bolts knots going together. And then I can put another, I can put a half in, half hitch like that, or like that, to keep it from absolutely slipping. So again, putting this on a half hitch onto a tent peg, or a tent post, or something, maybe you're going to drive in the ground, create a picket line for a horse, or secure a tarp, or a tent. All I'm doing is taking my end of my rope, making a loop, making one more loop, putting that first loop, or that second loop, on the bottom, sliding that down my post and tightening it up. And that's what it should look like. You can see those lines running together right there. Again, that's a clove hitch. Hope you can find some use for this knot uh, when you're out camping or otherwise out on the range or out riding trail riding with your horses. And hope this helps you out. Functional horsemanship, have a safe journey.